Game Studio. Today we're going to show you how to use Master Audio with Playmaker. We've got 50 custom actions. So over here is a prefab game object that we use for a cutscene between levels. It animates the camera around, pans down, does some music stuff. I'm going to edit the FSM that's on the camera. This is a fairly complicated FSM, so it animates around, pans down, and then it comes down here and changes the currently playing song here. With a master audio playlist, clip by name, custom action. You just paste the name of the clip in here. If you only have one playlist controller, you don't need to specify the name. Then the ready button sits there and throbs until you click it here. And when you do click it, then we play a specific uh, music stinger sound right here with the master audio play sound custom action. So we've pasted in the name of the sound group. Unfortunately, you cannot use custom inspectors in Playmaker. So you could also tell it to play it from the location of another game object or to attach to that object or this object. It's got all the options. Let's take a look at what kind of other actions. There's a ton of them. There's about 50. We've got some bus actions, ducking actions, everything actions, which includes mixer and playlists, fading, groups, playlists, custom events, anything you can imagine. We've got it in there. Now, you don't always need to use these. You can use other things that don't require code, such as the event sounds component. I'm going to go ahead and turn off these two actions so we can see what this scene looks like without the audio behavior we're looking for, and then we'll turn it on so you can see the difference. Okay, so before the cutscene, we've got this wrap-up screen here, which didn't use Playmaker to do all this sort of thing. Now we're going to the cutscene. It's panning down. There's the ready throbbing button, but it didn't change the music because we turned that off. And as soon as we click it, there's supposed to be another musical cue besides that descending into the tomb one before it, which you didn't hear. But now we'll go ahead and turn both of these actions on. So we play the sound and we change the song and you'll see the difference. Maybe I'll stay here. Oh, the torches. Some more torches. That's okay, this is on cheat mode. And who are you? So again, beat the insanely difficult level. Okay, here it comes. Listen for the music change. Cross faded into that. Once we click the radio button, there was the musical cue there. And the music's going to change back from event sounds script. It's in the level. Again, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.